First thing we need to do is loosen the tension on the guitar strings enough so we can get at the sound hole, because that's where all the goodies are. Okay, in no particular order, if you're going to install the jack in the end pin, it comes with the option of installing in the end pin, or it comes with a nice little leather thing that you can attach to your current strap button arrangement, like a regular screw and strap button. But this guitar happens to be nicely reamed out for the end pin jack. So we will put that process in place right now. So what that means is getting in here. All right, so that, that's our, there's the wire for the jack. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. Then we take the transducer. And what this does is it, it puts the, uh, the effects, uses the back of the guitar to actually reproduce them. Works really well. This will go on the bass side, on the back of the guitar. Doesn't have to be too far, not quite against the wall. Somewhere like right underneath here about seems to work pretty well. And that thing sticks, I can tell you that. Then next, don't get your wires mixed up. The skinny one, it goes, you can only plug them in one day. There's two, the back of the pickup has two jacks on it. One's the smaller one, that's where the transducer goes. One is slightly larger. That's where the end pin jack goes. Then you may have to loosen these screws up a little bit first. This goes in the sound hole like so. Then we'll take the screwdriver, just tighten these up so that so I like have leather pads on it and it won't damage the finish of the guitar. So it's snug in there. Has a rechargeable battery on the back. You can charging port on the front that you can access. Then we uh, string it back up. <laughs> 